Welcome my dear friends. In this video I'm gonna show you how to remove Google account from Android. Well, there could be two possible cases. Case 1, where you have access to phone settings app. And case 2, where you're stuck in these FRP screens and cannot access phone settings app. Let's start with case 1 and later see how to resolve case 2. Please open Settings app. Tap on Accounts. For some of you it's Passwords and Accounts. Select the Google account that you want to remove. Over here tap on Remove Account. Please go ahead and confirm. In case you are planning to sell this device, Please remove all Google accounts one after another. When you remove the last Google account from the device, it'll ask for this confirmation, which is basically the removal of FRP protection. You should go ahead and confirm this, only then the next user will be able to set up this device with his own Gmail account. Finally, you should perform factory reset before you hand over the device to the buyer. In many devices, doing factory reset using the settings app will automatically remove the Google accounts from the device. But I still suggest to manually remove the Google accounts and then do the factory reset to erase all your data from the device. From here, the next user can set up this device with his own Google account. Case 2. You're stuck in FRP screen. Ever since the world started using mobile devices, there has been exponential increase in mobile theft cases. In most cases, the lost devices were never returned to the original owners. Someone who stole or picked was able to factory reset the device and sell it in the block market or use it as their personal device. To overcome this problem, large tech companies such as Apple and Google have come up with a security feature that stops this behavior. It's called Factory Reset Protection FRP, in Android devices. It basically prevents unauthorized people using the device if it's ever lost or stolen. This ultimately increases the chances of the original owner getting his phone back. If you've bought from legitimate owner, you should connect with him. With his help, enter the Google account ID and password that was attached to this device previously. Complete the initial phone setups. Then follow the steps I've shown in the first part of this video. Post all these steps, you'll get a screen like this, which basically allows you to set up this device with your own Google account. If your seller could not help with Google account details, Maybe he is not the legitimate owner. Please try to return the phone back to him and get your money back. I hope this clarifies you. If you've any questions, please add your comments below. Please like and subscribe if not done already. Thanks for watching.